Right, in this video, we're going to go over just the general navigation of QuickBooks. Okay, so it'll be pretty quick, but lots of information, so get ready. So first things first, we have the home screen here. Okay, so the home screen is meant to be a place for you to follow the pathway down and figure out which, you know, what step comes next. Once I create an invoice, now what? I need to wait to receive a payment, then I record a deposit. So it's supposed to be like a little map for you to guide you through the accounting process, the bookkeeping process. Okay, so starts out we have the vendors up top here. Uh, and you can see we have, you know, enter bills, receive inventory, sales tax, if you track sales tax, pay bills, all that fun buttons here. If you highlight over a button, it will give you a little drop down and give you some information about it. So if it seems a little confusing, okay. And we have the company information over here, chart of accounts, inventory activities, items and services, okay. Um, if you wanted to, you also have drop down arrow here. So there's some extra activities that you can do on inventory activities. Then we have the customer center, the customer area right here. Um, so you can stroll through this statement charges, finance charges, statements, receive payments, all that fun stuff. We have employees down at the bottom. And then of course, banking on the side. You have this little sidebar over here, okay? I'm in a demo file, so in your sidebar, you won't see this start new company file now. But they do have the Getting Started Center, which is the Quick Start Center, um, which is just like a little bit of guidance to create an invoice, things like that. And then they have some setup and qu training question questions here. Um, that's going to take you out to the internet to ask questions and get a whole support, though. So. No need to do that, just watch another video. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna say getting started. Uh, we don't really want that there, so you can actually push this little X and take it off, okay? And then they have the account balances over here, uh, and you know you can scroll up and down, see your account balances, do it, you know, sort it by balance, sort it by name. You can minimize this, do more with QuickBooks, it's a little bit of advertising over here. Your backup status over here, so if you use Intuit Backup Services, or if you have QuickBooks Enterprise, it comes with the backup services, so go ahead and do that. Then also you have your reminders list over here too, but you can minimize all that if you don't want it there. Okay, I do have a lot of clients ask me if you can completely take this off, and that's a no. <laughs> So then again, navigation. I like to have my open windows list on the side here so that I can see which different areas of QuickBooks I'm in, and I can quickly navigate through those different areas. Okay. Uh, the way to get that there, you go up to view and you say open windows list, and then I'll give it there. If it's not there, you're just going to have your screen like this. And so it's a little bit harder to get from page to page. Uh, you'd have to go up under window here and go from page to page. Okay. You have your icon bar up top here. We have another video on customizing your icon bar. And then of course you have all of your drop downs up top. So most of the information that's here and here can also be accessed up here, all right? For people who've been using QuickBooks for a very long time, you're probably more used to using these drop downs. Even though this home screen has been here for several years now, I still don't find myself using it. I come up here and I use the drop downs. So if I wanna enter a bill, I don't just click enter bill, which is right here. I always go vendor enter bill, okay? But there's always different ways to get to the same transaction. There's several different ways to get there and everybody finds their own process. So that's just a little bit of a quick navigation of what you see on your screen there in QuickBooks.